Oh, yes, right here. Mr. President, it's been suggested your wiretapping program is unconstitutional. Is that going to continue? Uh, I don't know which wiretap program you're talking about. Mine is all is constitution worthy. Uh, you see, because uh, I haven't uh, read all of the Constitution, but the parts I have look pretty good. And uh, you see, the Founder Fathers had a vision of uh, rights. And if they had a problem with what we're doing, they would have wrote something down. And uh, from what I've read in the Constitution so far, they didn't. You see, because they didn't have wiretaps back then to worry about. They didn't have televisions back in the 1500s or telephones. They didn't have spies back when Benjamin Franklin was president. Uh, all right, Helen, right here. Yes, ma'am. Mr. President, are you ever going to do anything about global warming? Well, Helen, I've said before what I'm going to do about global warming. I'm going to cool things off. And I want to do it the natural way. And that's the way that God planned us to cool off the earth, you see, because we need clouds. The problem with uh, global warming is that the sun is hot. I know this. I'm not stupid. Uh, the sun sits above the earth like a heat lamp, shining hot death down on us. But one thing blocks it out, and that is called the cloud. Uh, and I believe we need to ask our friends in companies to help us build clouds like this. You see Exxon there, they have their uh, steam stacks, and they have clouds here, and the sun's on top, but underneath it's shady. That's because the clouds trap the sun, and they put down rays of rain and oil and freedom. So I think part of what we gotta do is uh, make sure we fund the companies that can help us build clouds, like Exxon. And we got to help them by giving them billions of uh, billions. I appreciate all your questions. I, uh, I thank all the concerners for your concerns. I thank you for the criticizers for your questions. If you have any further questions, I suggest you put them in writing or pray for them. God bless the United States of America. We have a winner, no need for review, our fate was sealed when his actions revealed, he didn't have a clue, he cut down the trees for the forest good health, polluted the skies for the oil boy's wealth, when Gore kept on saying the world's getting warm. Talked about terrorists and a gathering storm. Bump on up the alert level there, boys. What colors we got today? Orange? Okay, well, is there something better than that? And like a really angry purple? Or a mean green? I want to scare people, folks. They'll teach your kids and leave no child behind. Research the Bible and cloud up their minds. Don't bother with science, they got fictional facts. And if you don't like it, here comes a terrorist attack. You know, I found some Arabs in a Walmart the other day, chopping in the lawnmower section. You tell me they have grass in Arabia? Uh huh. Unless they're mowing sand, I need to find out. So I sent them down to Gitmo for questions. <laughs> well, he's the worst president ever. That much is clear No money for the poor folks No marriage for the queers He'll kill you all for peace He's not really too clever Corporations do well and the rest go to hell He's just the worst president ever No? What about Edgar J. Hoover? Katrina made landfall, New Orleans goes down in the dome, let the rest of them drown. FEMA got grilled by the media mob. The press told Brownie, You're doing a heck of a job. He was. All right, fine. Send down some mobile homes then. Oh, wait, don't send them just yet. What's that land worth down there? Oh, why is everybody upset with me? Don't you remember September 9 11 yet? Well, he's a. Worst president ever That much is clear 
No money for the poor folks No marriage for the queers That would be impossible They'll kill you all for peace He's not really too clever Corporations do well and the rest go to hell He's just the worst president ever well, what do you want to do? Impeach me? <laughs> and what of Dick Cheney? Just lying in wait God forbid that he ever gets a chance to step to the plate. <laughs> He'll hit North Korea, Venezuela, and Iran. Diplomacy's just a waste of your time when you've got the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> they fired the generals and Rummy was wrong. Gitmo became a brigade before long. Gonzo said Geneva's conventions are moot Waterboard them all Won't that be a hoot? Sounds like a whole lot of fun to me it Don't sound like torture We were waterboarding because they were thirsty So we feed them water It's a tropical resort down there They're eating vegetables and having a fish fry Yeah, he's the worst president ever much is clear. No money for the poor folks. No marriage for the queers. They'll kill you all for peace. He's not really too clever. Corporations do well and the rest go to hell. He's just the worst president ever. When corporations do well, the rest go to hell. He's just the worst president ever. You know what that means. Worst president ever. Means I'm number of Uno. Worst president ever. Drop that, Chucko. Worst president ever. <laughs> I'm still gonna have all y'all investigated. I love those four squirrels. It's too bad they broke up. Well, one of them's on American Idol doing pretty good, isn't he, buddy? <laughs> How about you? You look a little thirsty. Get him out of here. Liberals, they won't make their movies, but they can't stand the movie watchers. <laughs> Thank you, George. I'm finally off the hook.